been too long. Okay, first of all, who is she? Like, do you guys see this? I want to be built like this. Anyway, I haven't uploaded since... Um... Two hours later. Months or something like that. Like, since September. It was my last upload. So, yeah. Like, pretty much like four months ago was the last time I uploaded. I completely understand if you are unsubscribed by now. And to my subscribers that I watch, um, I promise I'll start watching your videos again. I just completely, like... I didn't upload and I just didn't watch YouTube at all. Like, I was so fed up with it. Like, I was watching no one on YouTube. Like, too much going on that I was just like, you know what? I'm done. <laughs> My friends have told me, like, well, not a lot because I don't have a lot of friends. But the ones that I do have have been telling me, like, just upload, girl. Like, who cares? Like, I haven't seen you upload in a long time, blah, blah. And I'm like... If I upload, you better watch, because YouTube is just, like, falling off the rails. Like, so, I mean, even though I do it just as a hobby, like, it's just, like, kind of, like, oh, like, when nobody watches, like, obviously, it's, like, very discouraging. So I'm going to try, honestly. I now graduated, so congratulate me, please. Thank so you. I basically have, like, not a full face of new makeup. But pretty much I bought new makeup. I've been collecting new makeup. So that's what I'm going to be using today. If you want to watch that and just chit chat. Get ready with me. Try new products. Then just go ahead and keep watching. I bought the new Milani um, Screen Queen Natural Finish Foundation. Um, I bought the new e.l.f. like dewy concealer. I bought the new Anastasia powder. I mean this came out last year. But it's still relatively new. I bought like, their primer. They're pretty fresh. Like there's there's some good stuff. Uh, but it's just a major hangover. Big ass um, hangover R RX. Oh my god. This is a pretty fresh hydrating hy hyaluronic with hyaluronic acid um, primer. So it looks nice, fresh, and cool. But I ordered a... Because ColourPop um, has like a set like this that comes with their new like little sponge, their setting spray, and that primer. So all that I got for... All that I got for like $18, so it's a pretty good deal for three items. Um, this is what their uh, sponge looks like when it's wet, so it expands a lot, and I love it. This has been my ride or die. Now, I bought this new e.l.f. sponge. Look how big it is. Like, it's really, really big. It's the same shape as the Real Techniques, but we'll see how those go. So, anyway, primer. Um, Look at this. Like, should I be concerned? Because... I don't know what's changing color, but something is like, I don't know if something went bad in here or like, why is it that color? So I'm going to open the new one and just see what happens once I start using this one. Because I've had this one for like a little while now. I'm not, maybe I need to cover it because I lost the top to the other one. Because I really did like this moisturizer a lot because it just gave me like a really nice dewy finish. But it's a little concerned with why... It's changing color like that. Like, I need to go onto the ColourPop website and see if anybody has complained about that because that's just really weird. I got Golden Bisque uh, in 330. This is supposed to be a neutral finish. We'll see. Um, I also got the new. That's one pump. Let me like one and a half. Um, he's very thick. She's very thick. I'm gonna do one side. Ooh. Okay. I don't know if that's like too much with my sponge. And see if I like it. If I don't like it, I'm gonna go in with a brush. Okay, so the finish is like... I personally think this is a light medium coverage. Well, yeah, it's a natural finish. So I guess, yeah, it's kind of like a lighter coverage. So I'm going to build it up a little bit more. Especially right here, my little redness. Content with this. I'm just going to see how much it lasts on the skin. But 
I can tell you right now, like, if you are a medium or full coverage girl, like, mm, you might not like this because it's still, like, my texture is still kind of peeking through. Try this new Elf Concealer, but if it's too dark, girl, I'm gonna have to go in with another one because I got the shade Medium Neutral and it's yellow AF. Okay, look, look at this. Cause the I did try like a year ago the the one they came out with the full coverage camel one and it's good it's just like really matte like scary matte. What time is it? Shut No, not attaching to my nose at all. It's like Cakeville up here. It's nice, it doesn't look that bad, but right here, I have a very dry like area right here. The coverage is okay. I'm gonna build it up a little bit more. I would say this is like medium to full coverage. Nothing has replaced my Born This Way sculpting concealer since I tried it like two years ago. So I'm gonna go ahead and contour my face with the Wet n Wild Contour Sticks. Okay, so this is the new Anastasia powder. Um, it is a loose setting powder. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's all that it's called. Really impressed and I like it. Let me compare it to the butter bronzers just so you can see how big it is. I'm actually going to take this ColourPop liquid highlighter. It's just the only shade they have, I think. Um, I have a slight, I love liquid highlighters, I do, it's just sometimes, honestly, like, I forget about them, so I, like, don't use them, because it's just, like, an extra step, um, and the only complaint I have about this one, it's that it dries way too quickly, like, you have to, have to, have to do it with a sponge, and go in with your finger, because if not, like, girl, it's just gonna stay kinda... Uh, in one spot and it's not gonna blend right so if you like liquid conceal liquid um highlighters i guess you i guess you could but to be honest like to me it's just an extra step like if i'm trying to look really really flawless i'll like i'll do it but to be honest like day to day no i don't have time for that okay I didn't mention but the concealer is pretty dewy and the foundation is pretty dewy as well so right now i'm looking really really dewy so we'll see after the powder i was really surprised last time that i used this powder with my born this way concealer oh my god it, I, my skin looked really really flawless honestly oh my god my nose looks horrible do you see how dry it looks? It, our powder with this new Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic uh, Mist. And the mist on this, I love it. I live for it. Uh, this is just in the shade of bronzer. Um, I was using Sunkiss for like a long time, but I feel like I like the undertone on this one a lot more because it's just kind of like more neutral. And the other one was just very, very warm on my skin. So, yeah, I didn't like that. So I'm just going to set that contour. Milani bronzer. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's not that new. So this is just a glow baked bronzer. Maybe they've had these for like the longest time and I just never noticed them. But um, this, yeah, this is in the shade glow, I guess. It's the, it's just as number four, so... I'm just trying to look dewy, so this just honestly adds on to your highlighter. And honestly, I'm going to use this kind of as a blush. I'm going to be using this new color, Going Coconuts Palette by Color... <laughs> Best palette they've ever come out with, honestly. Like, I was waiting for a brown, just brown palette. So, I'm going to do this off camera really quickly, and then I'll be back. Okay, but how beautiful is this eyeshadow though? It's the Coconut Coco Crush. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Like, I've been wearing this look 
every time I do my makeup. So, um, you all are obsessed I am with them. Like, I freaking love these. These are the lip crayons from ColourPop. And my favorite, to be honest, is Cherry Picking. Cherry Picking. Wakiki. Uh, nude Beach. It's a little bit deep. My ultimate favorite is Gimme Shmore. Uh, I also like Shaka a lot. And Z-Boys. Like, these, if you want to get, like, any nude... These are the best ones. Um, if you have like a deeper skin tone, Nude Beach and Wakiki would probably look very, very, really nice on you because they are very deep. Um, and if you're very light, probably Shaka and Give Me Shmores. Um, the only one that's really, really light for me is the Island Island Time. Like I can't wear this because it just looks like I'm wearing concealer. So today I'm gonna just go with um, Shaka. The mauve undertone. Let me show you. It just makes your lips look very naturally like moisturized. Um, it's not too shiny. Uh, it's just like car mix with the tint. Uh, I just really, really, really love the vibe of these. Because um, it just looks a little bit more natural. And um, yeah, it's really, really good. So that's pretty much all I have for new products. My hair looks like shit. Yes, I know. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you so much if you are still subscribed. I really do appreciate it. And yeah, I'm going to try to get my shits together. Um, I'm going to try. That is the key word, try. Um, I already took all my notes for Scorpio. So I'm going to try to record that one tomorrow. But we will see. Uh, I can't promise anything. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I have for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I highly appreciate it. And I want to thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. And hopefully I can see you on the next one. Bye.